Hi fellow crafters, this is Sheila with Creative Swan and I'm coming to you to bring you another mini, a new mini. It's been a while and um, as I said once before that my hands don't allow me to um, work the way it used to so um, I have to take my projects and do them um, according to how I feel. So um, this mini that I'm bringing to you today is a special order mini from a friend um, who wanted to give it to her um, doctor. But she wanted it very simple and um, almost plain so I didn't put a lot of embellishments and, and um, pockets and flips and like I normally do. So getting into the mini, the mini is a eight and three quarters by six and a half size. The paper that I used in this uh, for this mini collection is DCWV um, Coral Couture and I love this paper. The paper really speaks for itself because I think I did a little mini um, using this paper before. You can see that on my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to say hi to all the crafters and now get into the mini. Um, I bind it using the binding styles of Kathy Orta but um, I have some velvet colored paper here which is um, a, like a burgundy velvet and I punched eyelets and put some ribbon from my stash different colors that will go good with the collection the greens the pinks um, some light burgundy or mauve colors and I used eyelets here and ran the ribbon through the front of the cover is, like I said, the paper collection DCWV's Coral Couture. And on the front cover here is a butterfly from Recollections that I got from Michael. And the bling here is Prima Bling that I got from Joanne Fabrics. And I use the flowers that's in this album is Wild Orchid Crafts. I entitled it Family, and I use um, a Spellbinders die to pop it up. and. Um, or to cut the title out and I popped it up on some foam dots and that's the cover and I really liked it how it turned out the inside pockets are made um, I made it the inside pockets and um, there's tags in each pocket I'm not gonna pull all the tags out but they have it for a full-size photo nothing on the back and each pocket has two tags each and there's only four pages in this album. On the first page here I put a butterfly from Michael's Dollar Spot and used some recollection bling here. The pocket I made and punched with uh, Martha Stewart Punch and I made a little booklet or a couple little booklets and again used the paper and it has some um, some um, tags or die cuts from the paper collection which says one of a kind and this flips up and she could do some journaling there with a photo and over here again Martha Stewart Punch and some of these um, tags here are from the paper collection this one says excuse me for the glare dreams do come true home is where the heart is and beauty and those go right in there like that and I distressed the edges of the whole album with um, Tim Holtz I think it's um, pink sugar I'm not sure I have to look that up and I'm sorry for that but it's or um, dusty rose I think it is so I use that to distress all the papers in this in this album another booklet I made paper from the collection and you open it up like that and those go in that pocket like I said the album is very simple but I thought it turned out really good I put some some use some bling here and that's from recollections and I got those from Michaels and I, another tag out from the collection I put here love and this come from the paper pack it says memories and I just made some giant tags here and made a belly band to hold the tags and here this um, is a little die that I got from or I made from one of my Sizzix die I can't remember the title um, or the name of that die but it's three and one and that just goes like that again 
large tags on the side, two in each pocket. The next page is tied with ribbon and it says cute and it is one of those trifold if I can get it here and it just goes out like that and then I use some paper to coordinate with the colors from another or some of my stash that I had and that closes like that on this is some recollections bling and a sticker here that I said our story that I think it's from Can Company and this opens like this for photos and then it flips up and it closes here with a magnet and then you open it again this way so plenty of rooms for photos I think I counted that you can get um, 80 pictures in this album again large tags on the side two in each pocket the next page it says live laugh love and the little stickers here actually come from K and Company but it went so well with the collection so I used it and this is also a K and Company sticker and I used a little tie here and these are made out of envelopes and you can open them like this And then in the pockets, on some of the pockets, I made tags to go in the pocket. And I think there's two to each pocket that I put tags in. Again, using that um, Sizzix die. And that closes like that. The next page is a tag from the collection. And I just put an eyelet there and some ribbon and it goes behind here. And this is another tag from the collection and down here it says friends. And I have it um, holding clothes with a magnet. And it opens up there where she can put photos and do some journaling. Again, two more large tags. The next page, I made a sideways pocket using a Martha Stewart's punch. This is a Can Company sticker that glitters, and uh, this is a, um, I think, My Mind's Eye, or I'm not sure, die. Um, I can't remember. I'm sorry. You got to excuse me. I cannot remember what die that was, but um, I made a sideways pocket out of an envelope and a little book that says, Oh, Happy Day, and it opens up plenty of spaces for journaling and large tags and I used the Stampin' Up! punch Let me just go there and those pockets like that Oops. the next pop page has a, a pocket with Martha Stewart punch these are more Can Company stickers that went well with paper. And a lot of these are from the paper collection. This one here is a die cut from the paper collection or a tag from the paper collection. And I just used some of my ribbon that tied in with the ones that I have for the binding there. This is a um, Marianne designed die. And I used it. I thought um, it looked it pretty in here. This is also another Marianne design die that I cut out from the paper collection. It says Sweet, where she can do some journaling. This is from, um, hmm, I can't think of where it's from. A uh, die that I thought went good with the uh, paper collection. And I think this is Webster's Pages tag. Yes, a digital tag. This also is a Webster page tag, and it went so good with it. The colors went so good with it, so I added it. Again, more more tags, and using Stampin' Up Punch, and they just fit back in the pocket. Forgive me for this. I'm really fumbling today. It's been a while since I did a video, and again, two large tags in the side here from the collection. And like I said, again, I think she can uh, put at least 80 pictures in this album and do journaling. The next page 
is uh, from the collection and I added some stickers here that are from Can Company and this is held together with a magnet and I made it where it opens up and this is from the collection it says memory I put that on there and she can do some journaling and add some pit photos again the paper is so pretty I just love that paper and an area for large photos the last page again is a pocket using the Martha Stewart punch a uh, butterfly from the dollar spot at Michael's and some recollection bling and I made a little booklet here that opens up like that and it has another little pocket someplace where she can do journaling it says happiness is and then another Webster page tags and that is the mini it's very simple as I said the paper really speaks for itself I love how it turned out because she wanted something plain she, she's the person that she's giving this to um, is not into um, scrapbooking so she wanted it something that she could be simple for her and she could put in um, put her photos in but she wanted it to look pretty and I thought the uh, DCWV Coral Couture paper is a very gorgeous paper so I thought I um, I, I thought she would like this collection because I like this collection and it really turned out well so that's my many not so many but I'm glad I was able to share another project with all you fellow crafters on YouTube you do beautiful work and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoy how the many turned out and I think she'll be happy with it thank you for watching and if you like this many please subscribe at the bottom of the list and um, have a great day. Bye crafters.